Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see about priority queue in C++ HTML. So let's get started. So first, let us discuss about the functionality of a priority queue. Okay. So the priority queue works based on heaps. So there are two types of heaps, min heap and a max heap. So heaps are nothing but a tree like data structure. So as you can see here, consider this min heap. Okay. So 10 is the root node, which is the smallest element and it is as well as the parent element to 11 and 20. So it works fine. And consider 11. 11 is a parent element for 40 and 30 and it's the smallest element parent element and 20 is also parent element and it's smallest when compared to 50 and 60. So this is a min heap. Same case applies for max heap as well but only difference that the parent element should be a larger number than its children. So 100 is a root node. It has children for the 50 and 30. So it's larger than that and same case for 50 and 30 as well. They are larger than the children. So priority queue makes use of this property. Okay. So based on that we can implement both min heap and max heap in priority queue as well. So let's suppose say I want to get the largest number from a container. So let's suppose say 100. Okay. So consider this as some container data structure. So you want 100. So I get 100 and delete it. So next thing I will be getting is 50. Okay. So priority queue can be used in case if you want to just ex keep on extracting the largest number from a set of values. So once I have extracted 50, I, I will be get extracting 30. So this is how priority queue works. And same thing applies for min heap as well, minimum priority queue. So in case I want the minimum smallest element, I will get 10 extracted and then I want to find the smallest among the remaining elements, I will be getting 11. So 11 will be extracted, then omitting this 11, we need to find the smallest among the rest of the elements. So I will be getting 20. So to extract the smallest or the largest number from a set of values continuously, in that case we will be using priority queue and I think it is really really efficient than sorting itself. So that's when you use a priority queue. So now let's just go to code. Okay. So this really fun coding. Okay. So first let me put, uh, you need to import the header file as include bit slash history. That's fine. So after that, it's same thing. Priority underscore, you need to use underscore Q and you're just putting a data type. I'm putting it and let Q be our priority queue. And for pushing values in separate priority queue, it's going to be Q dot push. That's it. So let me just put 10 Q dot push zero. And by default, it will be a max heap or max priority queue. So we will be getting this order. It will just like if you're extracting 100, or like let us see if you're extracting any value from the container, it will be a maximum value. Okay. So I put Q dot push, I'll put 20 and Q dot push, I will put minus one. Okay. So like have a balanced number. So now I put C out Q dot top, which is like the topmost element or root element we can like imagine in that so if i just save and run it now i will be getting 20 in the output because by default this normal priority queue it will be a max heap okay so it will have the functions of max heap so i'm getting 20 and there is also like another function q dot size as well size as well uh, same thing if we just run it i will be getting the size as 4 4 i'm getting 4 now let's delete an element okay so same thing for deleting it, it is Q dot pop. So as I told you in the example, it will delete the largest element from the set of values. So in our case, our largest element is 20. So 20 will be now removed completely. And after removing 20, if you put C out Q dot top, it will go on to the second largest element, which is 10. Okay. So as I told you exactly the same. So if you just remove 100, 50 will occupy its place. 50 will be considered as the largest element, next element or the top element. So if we remove 50 as well, 30 will be considered. So that's how it works. And here now I'm popping out 20. So 20 will be just removed from it and we'll just consider which is the largest element among the remaining elements. So 10 will be going over there. So if I put Q dot top, I will be getting 10 now as the output. So I'm getting 10 as the output. I hope that made sense. And let's go for a min heap or a minimum priority queue. Okay. So for that, what you do is you just put a comma and you add vector int and comma greater int okay so usually we will only add greater int we won't be adding vector int so in this case we need to add vector int as well so now let me just comment this one so now if i just would do q dot top i'll be getting my minus one as the output because as you know it's going to be like min heap so minimum value will be getting popped out so i'm getting minus one in the output and if i just now remove this i am putting doing q dot pop and then q dot top. So what happened is that q dot pop. Okay, so minus one will be removed, and next to the smallest element is zero. So same thing, 
we are removing 10 over here the next smallest element 11 occupies its space once 11 is extracted and removed 20 occupies its space and this keeps on repeating same thing goes here as well so once minus 1 is gone 0 will occupy its place and 0 will be the new top so if I generate now I will be getting 0 in the output so I am getting 0 so that works fine so last thing uh, we need to just display the contents present in our queue okay simple so let me just remove this same thing this is only going to be the process we need to do this queue.pop and queue.top continuously till our priority queue becomes empty that's it so let me just put a while loop over here while queue.empty okay so queue.empty returns true only if our priority queue is empty okay so queue.empty returns true only if your priority queue is empty so now in this case it will return false because our priority queue isn't empty. So what we do is we need to put a not operator, which means that this process will be keep on repeating until our queue dot our priority queue becomes empty. So if our priority queue becomes empty, queue dot empty will return true and this not will convert that to false and the while loop breaks. But in normal case, when priority queue has some values, queue dot empty will return false and not converts to true, which makes our while condition satisfied. I think this is like basic, okay, really simple. I explained it well. So now just put it inside it and insert and just give some space to display. So and another important thing is that q.top should come first. Okay. So if you are doing q.pop first inside this while loop, one will be getting removed and one will one won't be getting displayed because if you do q.pop first, one is removed and we will be getting zero in the output at first. So one will be like not getting displayed in the output at all. So simple thing, you know, just cut this and paste it over the top. And now just let's run it. So we'll be getting in ascending order okay so minus 1 0 10 20 that's sign and now if you just go over here and like the standard max heap just removing this saving it and running it 20 20 10 0 minus 1 so that's it i hope you, this video made sense to you and mine's a program channel i've done many other videos in c++ stl as well as program videos in c c++ java python sql query questions interview questions as well as 3d animation in blender so do check out the rest of my channel subscribe and support me Thanks for watching.